So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this cute strawberry costume kid. You can apply this costume trick to almost any simple illustration. And in this case, it was an easy way to turn a weird strawberry into something much more interesting and full of character. As usual, check the description for details on the brushes and stuff. And if you think I've earned it, please give this video a like. So I've got my sketch already placed in here, and you can download this for free in the description as well. And to start painting, I'm going to grab the abstract round brush and a somewhat medium red color, and I'm going to use that to fill out the strawberry. And I'm going to leave a lot of brush strokes behind, and I'll try to make sure one side of it is slightly darker than the other. Now for the cutout here for the face, I'm just going to use the eraser brush set to the fine liner pen, and I'm just going to erase that out. And while I've still got the eraser selected, I might use it to clean up the edges of the strawberry a little bit. Now for the leaves on top, I'm going to make a new blank layer for that. For the brush, I'm going to switch it to the hard edge brush, and I'll just use a few different shades of dark green to fill that out. And then I'll finish it up with a slightly darker green for the stem. And it's optional, but a lot of these strawberry leaves fade to a light yellow here at the base. So to get that same effect, I'm going to use the freehand selection tool. I'll select the base of the leaves. I'll feather it out, and then I'll just brighten it with the hue, saturation, and brightness, saturate it, and then shift it towards yellow. And if you want to, you can also switch to the water blender, and then use that to kind of blend this point where all the leaves come together. And for the legs, I'm also going to do those on their own layer, and I'm just going to rough them out in this medium denim blue color, and I'll use the hard edge brush again as well. And I went a little bit uh, beyond the lines of the sketch, so I'll just cut it back and refine it with the eraser. And the last main color I gotta fill out here is the face, and this time I'm gonna switch back to the abstract round, and I'm just gonna rough it out using a very, very light saturated skin tone. Now once all the main colors for this have been kind of blocked out, I'm gonna move on and start adding some textures and details, and I wanna do this with a somewhat scratchy brush, so I'm gonna switch to a default Procreate brush in the drawing tab, it's this little pine brush here at the top. It just has a really nice scratchy look, and all the details are gonna be on their own layer, so I'll make a blank layer above everything. And I'm gonna start by using a kind of light beige tone to do all the seeds, and these are pretty much random. If you want to, you can also add some lines and details to the leaves using a light green color. And then lastly, you can use it to rough out the socks and the shoes for the feet. And with those details finished, we can finally move on to the face. And everything for the face is going to be on its own blank layer as well. And I think I can do it all with a little pine brush. I'm going to start with the hair, which is going to be a very dark reddish brown. For the nose, I'm going to use a slightly pinker version of that skin tone. And then to smooth out that transition to the face, I'm going to grab the water blender real quick. And I'll just blend the one side of it. For the ears, I'll switch back to the little pine brush and use another slightly pinker skin tone. And for the eyes and the mouth, I'll continue with the little pine brush with black and white. And if you want, you can add some rosy cheeks as well. And once the details and the textures in the face are finished, we can add some shading. And for this guy here, it's really simple. I'm just gonna shade the legs. But first, I need to merge everything together onto one layer. I'll turn off the sketch as well. And I'm going to grab the selection tool, set to freehand, and I'll first draw an area where I want the strawberry to be casting a shadow here. Hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll just slightly darken that. Then I'll do another shadow here just on the inside. And I'll darken this one too, but not quite as much. There we go. And at this point it could be done, but there's a couple of small issues I want to fix. And I have a little bit of a trick here that I use a lot. So mostly, I want to fix the face. I feel like the eyes aren't quite right. And also the face could be a little bit more symmetrical. So as long as all the layers for our character are merged together onto one, I can go to my adjustments here. Go to liquify. I'm going to set it to push. You can copy these settings. I'll control the size with this. And I can just use it to slightly nudge and fix some of these little imperfections. And I feel like it's especially good for eyes, because if you set it at a small size, you can actually change where the eye is looking. 
I think the eyes are really important, and I think this trick here is a good way to fix any small issues that can happen with them. And just like that, this little guy is all done. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to learn more about this kind of systematic approach to illustration that I used in this video, I think I cover it really well in these two videos, and I think you might like to check them out next.